If you know something, say something. That's the FBI's urgent request to the people of Las Vegas. Nearly a week after a gunman killed 58 people and wounded nearly 500 others. The motive remains a mystery. Jamie Yukis is at the scene of the massacre. Vice President Mike Pence came to Las Vegas today to show solace with the city. Volunteers worked around the clock to open a healing garden Friday night. It includes a remembrance wall and 58 trees for the 58 lives lost. Jamie Dellum visited and struggled to make sense of the tragedy. You feel so heartsick when you see the wall and the lives that were lost. But nearly a week after the deadly shooting, investigators remain frustrated by a lack of clues as to what prompted the attack. Las Vegas Metro Police Under Sheriff Kevin McMahill says his department is following up on more than 1,000 leads. In the past, terror attacks or mass murder incidents, motive was made very clear, very clear in most of those cases by a note that was left, by a social media post, by a telephone call that was made, by investigators mining computer data. Today, in our investigation, we don't have any of that uncovered. I wish we did. Paddocked holed up in a suite at the Mandalay Bay Casino Resort with several weapons, including AK-47s and AR-15s. Sources tell CBS his arsenal would have cost more than $50,000. Investigators also found Paddock's car in the hotel parking garage. It held an explosive, tannerite, and at least 1,000 rounds of ammunition. CBS's John Blackstone asked if losses at the casino tables or any financial problems may have been a motive. I can tell you that we've ruled that out as one of the reasons. Um, there's, there's no massive loss of money, no, n none of those things that might cause that. In fact, I would say it's probably to the contrary. He was up. He was up. Yeah. The strip is very slowly starting to return to normal, with people who are visiting stopping at memorials and then moving on. But Rena, I talked to one gentleman who's in Las Vegas this week to not only attend a work conference, but a funeral for a friend who was a victim in this shooting. The tragedy is never that far away.